Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Terry Talk. This week, I want to talk about executive coaching, especially at the CEO level. As we know, the CEO is probably the one of the most high stakes, one of the most unique leadership roles in our organizations, probably one of the more visible ones, and carries a lot of risk with it. Because if the company runs into problems, well, guess what? Uh, the CEO is going to be the first one that's held accountable. You know, this is a role that requires a lot of key skills like vision and wisdom and um, experience, got to be good with people. Um, an executive coach really provides that safe place, if you will, where the CEO can work things out to get direction, guidance. Um, maybe there's areas that need some course correction. Maybe there's just some adjustments that are needed. You know, it used to be when I first started in this industry a long time ago that coaches were kind of sent in as that, you know, that last ditch effort, if you will, that that we're going to save, try and save the CEO. And if not, well, away they go. We know that in today's world, that's different. There's a lot of complexity, more so than ever before. And CEOs are recognizing that a solid partner coach can help them become better at their job. You know, they're at the forefront, these folks. And and decisions need to be made, how to prepare for them, what's next, what action is necessary. Um, it really helps to have a trusted partner to work with. Now, some are asking, well, Terry, there's the senior leadership team or there's a board of directors. <laughs> These aren't the places that people typically go to test out risky ideas or to get necessarily thoughts on what they might consider to be out there ideas. Coach provides safe sounding board. Harvard Business Review back in 2020 found almost three quarters of CEOs that received coaching reported improved self-awareness, improved communication skills, and overall increases in productivity. Because let's face it, a good coach will help the CEO identify their strengths or weaknesses, their opportunities, threats, good old SWOT analysis leads to enhanced performance. Executive coaching really helps CEOs grow in their comfort, and their strength in the role. Um, as I mentioned, they're a great sounding board. Coaches become a sounding board for CEOs, for ideas, for pitches, for different perspectives. And a good coach will provide that unbiased perspective. They point out where you know, the CEO may be out of balance or give some ideas or different points of view. Asking good questions that provoke good thinking and problem solving by the CEO. And they help the CEO identify and overcome any personal obstacles, any mental barriers. And there are a lot of those that get in the way sometimes. And it's in the ability of the coach to help that leader, that CEO, push through those different barriers. As I mentioned, it's lonely at the top. You can't really go to your board of directors or your direct report sometimes. You know, coach helps enhance decision-making, reflect on information that can't be shared. It improves self-awareness identify helping the coach or sorry, helping the CEO identify some blind spots. It instills curiosity. There is a certain degree of accountability that comes with having a coach. Uh, a coach should provide some good unfiltered feedback. Ever notice in a meeting how everyone always shares information that everybody else already knows? It's sort of that positive reinforcement, nodding of head when you share information that everybody else knows. A coach is not going to let that happen. They're going to push for sort of that devil's advocate or devil's inquisitor kind of perspective. What if you looked at it a different way? That's really unbiased feedback. Increases communication, increases the performance of your business, and helps develop new skills. So in, in June of 2002, though, going back to our friends at Harvard Business Review, they had an article called The Very Real Dangers of Executive Coaching and the Popularity of Executive Coaching and CEO Coaching. Uh, they said at the time was really driven out of the, the craze for quick solutions. Um, you know, and let's face it, we all want quick solutions. But the impetus of that article, or the real thrust of that article, was about it's an investment in time, energy, and commitment. It's not an event. It's an ongoing process. 
So there's some real great positive outcomes for executive coaching, but it's not a three month event or a six month event. It's a process. So want to learn more? Give us a call. We'd love to talk to you about our executive coaching programs that we have here at ARIA. And while we're talking about CEOs and leadership, watch out this coming spring in a few months, we'll be launching our next level leadership series designed for senior leaders and CEOs to help them to get to the next level in their leadership. As always, hit that subscribe button. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And we'll see you again soon.